Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video and welcome to another question and answer video. Uh, today's question is about credit cards. So we're going to talk about can you cruise without a credit card? Okay, let's get into the answer, shall we? Um, now this is from uh, Jason Sim. It was actually in a Facebook group. Uh, it doesn't really matter which cruise line this Facebook group post came from because it's kind of relevant to all cruise lines. Now, I wonder if you've cruised before or if you're maybe planning to go on a cruise and you're wondering about this answer. Uh, he asked, what if I don't have a credit card? Can I board? Now, the answer is yes. You can still go on your cruise if you don't have a credit card. Now, the cruise line would like you to use a credit card as a deposit for your onboard account. Uh, however, you can still join the ship or board the ship not giving your credit card at the check-in process uh, before you board the ship. Uh, they, uh, at the check-in or embarkation, they'd ask you to uh, go to the guest services or information desk on board uh, after you've boarded and give an alternate payment type. Uh, in the terminal, they only take uh, the credit cards or debit cards, which they can link to your onboard account. But on the ship, you can use uh, cash or different payment types, if you like. Uh, you know, can I board? Yes, you can. You can still go on your cruise. Now, just as a bit of an example for Carnival Cruise Line, uh, if you were to board the ship having not given a credit card or you don't have one, uh, or you didn't have a debit card, for instance, uh, basically when you get on the ship, you're given your um, room keys. Actually, on most cruise lines, you actually collect them at your cabin. Uh, they don't give them to you physically to walk on the ship with. They're, they're already on board and uh, you can then go collect them and use them on the ship for payment for shopping, drinks, spa, shore excursions, anything you like. Now, basically on the first day of the cruise or embarkation day, your card will work or will be active till around about midnight. Now, even if you haven't put a payment type on your card, it'll still allow you to use it to charge. Uh, for instance, at the shop, at the spa, getting a drink. Um, and then basically over the midnight till the next day period, uh, the system basically is a little bit smart and it sort of sees which accounts on board don't, uh, doesn't have a, a linked payment to it and it deactivates that card on the spot. So uh, the cruise line then obviously uh, doesn't allow you to keep charging without knowing there's a payment put down. So, uh, can I board without a card? Yes. Again, I'm going to keep answering yes. Uh, basically, at any point on that first day when you join the ship, you could go to guest services and give them a cash deposit. So, whatever amount you like, $5, $100, $1,000. $1, uh, it doesn't matter in pounds, in whatever currency you're in, in the country you're cruising out of. Uh, the ship will have a payment type that they accept. So, uh, Initially, for the first few hours before midnight, uh, you could basically not go there if you think, I mean, for me personally, it's always like the busiest time at guest services, that embarkation afternoon, right after the boat drills have taken place, right after sail away, where people have got on the ship with some sort of uh, issues or challenges before the cruise started, they want to get it resolved right on board. Or maybe they've got some sort of problem with their dining, with their cabin, I'm not sure, with the color of carpet maybe. Uh, so you can absolutely cruise uh, with alternate payment types. Now, at any point, you could click away and not listen to the video, of course. Hear my first yes. But uh, I think Jason uh, kind of, and hopefully you're watching this, you appreciate that longer answer um, by you being able to give an alternate payment type. Now, a lot of people are worried that if they give cash at a deposit, that they can't get it back or they have to spend it. That's also not true. Uh, uh, at any point, in theory, you could go down to the information desk and close your card. They don't obviously deactivate it from charging and they can pay you back the amount of cash that you haven't spent or if it's the same amount, if you've not used it, obviously. Uh, there is also an alternative at the end of the cruise. Uh, depending on the cruise line you go on, uh, they have an option now if you've got a smaller uh, leftover cash value, maybe say less than $10 or less than $5. They can donate it to a charity that the cruise lines are following um, or they have an option where they can mail you a check to your home address that you've got linked to your account. So you could actually take both options. 
Uh, so it's up to you. Uh, you know, I mean, whether you go down and get the money refunded back to you or you leave it as a donation, that's completely up to you. Uh, the cruise line doesn't sort of bank every penny that is left there and they profit from it. Uh, the cruise lines have got some sort of thing set up for obviously that fail safe of the small amounts left, especially if it's a cash deposit, it's important. Obviously, if it's a debit card or credit card charge, then whatever that balance is, is what charges to your uh, card or onto your next billing cycle. Uh, so yeah, you can go on a cruise without a credit card. I hope that answers your question. Uh, thanks for watching. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this question and answer. I hope you found it useful. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another video right here for you. So you can take a look at a, another video. Uh, hopefully something that you may have watched before. Uh, or just learn something new about cruising. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Put a comment below if you want to maybe ask another question or you've got an opinion. I mean, I'm completely happy to learn something new always. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.